Will everyone please rise for our national anthem performed by our outstanding LHS band and orchestra. Please be seated. Good afternoon, friends and family of the class of 2023. My name is Thomas Cottle, and I have the privilege of serving as the principal of Lindbergh High School. On behalf of the Renton School District, welcome to the commencement exercises for the 49th graduating class of Lindbergh High School. Help me welcome some of our distinguished guests who are with us this afternoon. First, from the Renton School District Board of Directors, we have Board President Ms. Elisa Louie, Board Vice President Ms. Shelby Scoble, and Board Members Dr. Stephanie McIrvin and Dr. Avanti Bergquist. We are also honored to have from the Renton School District Chief of Secondary Schools, Ms. Joya Pitts, Deputy Superintendent, Dr. Shannon Harvey, and our Superintendent, Dr. Damian Patnod. Finally, from Lindbergh High School, we have our two assistant principals, Mr. Colin Falk and Ms. Mawia Fields. At this time, please welcome Keegan Dampier and Ann Malkar to the stage for opening remarks. Good afternoon. Uh, before I begin, I would like to thank my officers, Lohit Kumaran, Kevin Schwartz, Leanne Luong, and Mia Benke, as well as the countless others of individuals that have donated their time and energy to support our class. Right, class of 2023, we're here. And that means so much to us because there were times when we thought we might not to get to have this moment today. I remember sitting alone two and a half years ago, staring at a screen, upset with what was happening outside, upset that something had been taken from us, and upset that it felt like all we could do is sit and watch everything around us fall apart. After getting back to school and after entering our senior year, we began to embrace each other and come together to do things like break records and ticket sales to our dances, set record times, and take home awards from across the country, and have more school spirit than we've had in years. We filled up the away stands for our football game against Renton and showed them what a student section is really supposed to look like. Uh, we're no longer going to let the years slip through our fingers, and we took hold of this year to define our own high school experience. I want you to cherish today. I want you to use this moment and think about what your frustration accomplished and what we are capable of when we all come together. We know how to be lost and how to refocus. Tomorrow, there is no punishment for truancy, nobody to yell 30 seconds left as we're running late to class. 
and there's no longer a mandated path for us to follow. It is now our responsibility to hold ourselves accountable and to explore the opportunities given to us. After today, we will all go in different directions and find our own sources of success, but I want you all to look back on the effort you put in that led you to this moment and never forget how far you've come. Class of 2023, thank you. Hello and welcome to family, friends, faculty, staff, and easily the best looking class of 2023. My name is Ann Malkar, and it's truly an honor to be a part of this special occasion. We never thought this day would come by this fast. As we crossed off days and counted hours, minutes, and seconds, the day is finally here. When we were young, we would talk to our friends about having a job and how cool it would be to start driving. This was just because high school was meant for big kids. Although we didn't realize how hard it would be till some of us finally started to have jobs and drive. Now I know some of you are probably thinking, wait, what? I thought I was already old enough. But trust me, this is just the start to the greatest adventure of our life, the adventure of adulthood. We are about to step into a whole new world, still planet Earth, but a new world of responsibilities, challenges, and opportunities. We are about to embark on the greatest journey of our life, but not to worry, you're not alone. You have your family and friends to support you, and you've got each other to lift up. As we stand here today, I remember when I first walked into Lindbergh and just thought to myself how gigantic this school is. Now, I know some, most of you will agree with me, but this school definitely seemed huge our first few days. I told one of my neighbors I went to Lindbergh, and the response to me was, oh, that school that looks like a prison. Anyways, as I stand here today, I want to tell you all, I'm proud of you for waking up every day and trying. I'm proud of you for being here today because I know some of your yesterdays were really hard. But no matter the roller coaster, I hope you stay strong and know you are worthy of your wildest dreams. In life, we can't always count on being born great or having greatness thrust upon us. But remember, always, always remember that the opportunity to achieve greatness is within our grasp. Remember that to leave a legacy and to achieve greatness is not to get money and recognition, is to leave those whom you cross your paths with a little more happiness and hope. There is a universal truth that we all have to face whether we want to or not. Everything eventually ends. As much as I've looked forward to this day, I've always disliked endings. Last day of summer, the final chapter of a great book, parting ways with a close friend, leaves fall and you close the book, you say goodbye. Today we say goodbye to everything that was familiar and everything that was comfortable. We are moving on, but just because we're moving, there's some people who are so much a part of us, they'll be with us no matter what. Before I say goodbye, I want you to look at your family and friends and give them a big smile and wave because today is a day meant to be remembered. And make sure to thank your parents, sorry mom and dad, for sometimes going over the speed limit just to get you to a school on time. Thank you. At this time, I would like to introduce our award-winning Ad Astra Choir. They will be performing For Good from the musical Wicked.
It is now my honor to once again introduce Dr. Damian Patnod, Superintendent of the Renton School District, who has special remarks for the class of 2023. Good afternoon. If we could give one more round of applause to the outstanding choir and the student speakers, Keegan and Anmal. And it is always an honor to be here at graduation as the superintendent of the Renton School District as we celebrate Lindbergh's class of 2023. And having recently sat through my niece's graduation, what felt like about 90 minutes of speeches, I will keep my remarks very brief so that we can continue to focus on these outstanding soon-to-be graduates. But I do want to begin first with some very important thank yous. To the families and friends with us today, thank you for your love, time, support, encouragement, and discipline that you have provided and was critical to helping get these students here today. To the staff, the outstanding staff at Lindbergh High School, and to the staff who worked with some of these future graduates in middle school, elementary school, and even preschool, thank you for your professionalism as well as your commitment to serving our students and families. And then finally, a group that often doesn't get enough recognition is events like these do just not happen. So to the staff and drivers, to everyone behind the scenes right now, 
who des is deserving of recognition in front of everyone today. Thank you for your hard work in pulling everything together so that our students and families can have a wonderful experience that caps off their time at Lindbergh High School. If we could please give them a round of applause. And out of the reason why we are here, the seniors. And graduations, as I shared earlier, have always been one of my favorite events. The culmination of 12 to 13 years, the sense of completion, the sense of accomplishment, the joy, the hope for, why, for what might come next. And I don't know for the seniors, given that you went through COVID, I don't know if it felt like a long time to get to graduation or a short time. However, one thing I can promise is that the older you get, the faster time seems to go. And I don't know if there's anybody in the audience that would agree with that today. And I share this because your four years, at least to me, have gone fast. And for the audience, and the students probably know this, but this is the last graduating class that will have experienced high school prior to the pandemic. And there's a gospel song that um, my late sister, my sister passed away about a year and a half ago, that she would often play at family get-togethers. And it is Reverend James Cleveland's song, This Too Will Pass. And while this song is often thought of in times when there are heartaches, grief, and disappointment, a line in the song says, whether the sunshine or the rain, just know it cannot last. This too will pass. And as I have gotten older, I have learned that it is not just those difficult moments, like experiencing a pandemic, or for me, the loss of my sister, that will pass. It is also the sunshine in our life. Joyful moments like graduation, or those fun times you had with your friends during high school. This is life, the good, the bad, the joy, the pain. The lesson, I believe, is for us to realize that time continues to march on regardless of what we might encounter. We must take the time to celebrate those moments of sunshine, like this afternoon. And we must remember that when those clouds are gray, that tomorrow can be better than today. To fully enjoy those great days, as well as holding on to hope when times are tough, I believe one of the keys is to move beyond ourselves and what we might be experiencing and thinking of others. How can we celebrate someone else's success or find ways to make their day brighter? How can we be there for someone else in their time of need and help them to realize that truly tomorrow can be better than today? Class of 2023, I believe that engaging in these small acts of kindness and empathy throughout your life will be far more representative of who you are, who you really are, than your GPA or any accolades. Knowing that this too will pass and that today will turn into tomorrow, I look forward to seeing and hearing about the ways that you not only do great things for yourselves, but others. Class of 2023, I wish you the very best for each day of that journey. Congratulations. All right, before I begin my speech, I have to tell this a little story. So in the weeks leading up to senior finals and rehearsal on Monday, uh, some of the seniors we see sitting out here were harassing me, uh, asking if I had written the graduation speech yet. And I said, absolutely not. And you know, they were like, well, let's go. We want a good one. And so I said, I'm not worried because I'm gonna have chat GPT do it. And they were like, yes, do that. Um, and so while I didn't do that, um, I will share that just for fun, I pulled one up and I pulled one sentence to embed in my speech uh, that actually came from ChatGPT. So I told you I would do that. So we'll see if you can spot the AI. Okay, so this is the actual start of the speech right now. Uh, fun fact, according to visitrentonwa.gov, good old Renton is one of the 15 most diverse cities in America. Basically, your time in Renton has contributed to preparing you to enter a global workplace. I'm hopeful your travels will take you across the country, maybe across the continent, maybe across the globe. 
When this happens, I invite you to get comfortable being uncomfortable. To grow as people, we require new experiences and temporarily exiting our safe space. So get comfortable being uncomfortable. The world you're entering is in dire need of your empathy, your compassion, and your commitment to making a difference. Always remember to be kinder than necessary. You never know what someone's going through, and this can be a very simple thing. Actions can be very small. They can be as basic as holding the door open for someone. It can be saying thank you or excuse me to a stranger. It can be giving the compliment to a loved one. A positive interaction has the potential to go a long way in someone's life. Remember that. Your generation is more aware than ever about the importance of social, emotional, and mental health. So I invite you to continue to be cognizant of your own headspace and to take care for and prioritize that. So be kinder than necessary. As many of you have heard me say in my office, which I want to point out does not mean you are in trouble, uh, that you should have the courage to speak your truth, even if that means you have to say things to people you care about that they don't want to hear. From advocating for yourself or others to calling out injustices that you see, do not shy away from moving to the pressure and using your voice. Always speak your truth. Lastly, never settle for good enough. Do not accept mediocrity in any aspects of your life, not your job, not your relationships, not your health. You are allowed to hold yourself to a higher standard. You are allowed to be better all by yourself and you don't need anyone's permission to be better. Don't settle for good enough. Cheers to you, class of 23. You've rebounded nicely from your 10th grade year of COVID and the pandemic and remote school. As I shared at the outstanding seniors presentation to the school board, I can't wait to unleash you on the world. Take care, and as always, go Eagles! Kaka! I'm not done, I've got more. <laughs> At this time, please welcome Renton School Board President, Mrs. Elisa Louie. Limburg High School, class of 2023. On behalf of the Renton School District Board of Directors, I am honored to congratulate you for your accomplishment. Your hard work and the hard work of your community has led you to this powerful position today, the position of a high school diploma. The school board wholeheartedly believes in the mission of this school district, that is to put systems in place to help each student graduate with options ready to fully participate in our democracy. We believe there is not a one-size-fits-all approach to getting here, and we are thrilled to provide spaces for all students to walk across the stage. Through our core values of service, excellence, and equity, we hope for nothing more than to set each of you up for success in your lives and inspire you to take on the world while practicing the same values. While high school graduation is exciting, it is also bittersweet because one chapter of your life is closing, yet many possibilities await you in future chapters to come. You'll take on important jobs, you'll continue learning, you'll grow your families, you'll serve our country and community, you'll become comfortable with who you are. Some of your next chapters are carefully outlined and some of your next chapters will stray from the plan, that's okay. Ultimately, we hope that the Renton School District has provided you with every opportunity you need for your story to be whatever you want it to be. As you move into your next pages of the story, I hope you embrace the world in three ways. These are three ways I found to bring people together, build community, and find happiness within yourself. First, embrace diversity. Seek to understand, respect, and learn from others. Embrace collaboration and inclusivity, for it is through working together that we create a more harmonious and passionate world. Second, embrace and practice resilience. Life will inevitably present you challenges, setbacks, and moments of doubt. 
Harness your inner strength, grow in failure, and keep moving forward with unwavering determination. And third, embrace authenticity. Be true to yourself. Embrace your uniqueness. Follow your own path. The one that makes you happy and gives you purpose. Authenticity is the key to finding fulfillment and forging genuine connections with others. Be courageous and be vulnerable. Share your true self with the world. It is the honor of the school board to serve you. We could not be more proud of you. Lindbergh High School, class of 2023, continue to make us proud. Embrace diversity, resilience, and authenticity, and do great things. Congratulations. At this time, please welcome School Board Vice President, Ms. Shelby Scoville. As the principal of Lindbergh High School and by the power vested in me by the Renton School District Board of Directors in the state of Washington, I am pleased to present the 50th graduating class of Lindbergh High School and certify that they have met all district and state requirements for graduation. On behalf of the state of Washington and the Renton School District, I am pleased and honored to accept the Lindbergh High School Class of 2023. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present the Class of 2023. It's on, ready to go. Keegan Dompier. Anthony Adonis Acevedo Ramirez. Anmol Carr. Christine Nicole Cordero Aragon. Sasti Edikari. Mustafa al Arbi. Lilia Hannah Agajanian. Bianca Esmeralda Agavo. Eva Ahmad. Jakaya Unique Arrington Finley. Dayana Aziz. Gavin Barber. Aisha Aziz. Caitlin Brothers. Marwa Amadi. Ahmed Mohammed. Good job. Gianna Ann. Taylor Larray Black. Cade Brainbridge. Yishak Barraquette. Mia Benke. Mohammed Bashir. Dasha Untilo. 
Devin Buyavong Santos. Alyssa Buñavong Santos. V. Jordan Burnley. Alia Rose Bladel. Ryan Bates. Gavin Brush. Tristan Blessing. Maya Diana Ballumchuk. Matthew Robert Blumquist. Acacia Kreese. William Ray Brower. Irene Cobbensog. Sean Gallardo Barilla. Sarah Dowell. Melanie Cabrera Aban. Matthew Lynn Anho. Lucas Blake Cohn. Olivia Grace Deckard. El Senor Luis Angel Camacho Lopez. Marissa Donahue. Juliana Castaneda Capote. Marianne Esquivel. Alexander Jacob Lim Colosa. Austin John Elenzano. Anthony Tyler Lim Colasa. Ellie Elizabeth Firkenstad. <laughs> Jax Lex Dolozier Hansen. Indigo Eden Gaither. <laughs> Daniela Cruz Vanegas. Paul Cthulhu. Chi Dang. Grace Isadora Hallen. V. Lok Wong. Destin Keo Hoffman. Giali Dang. Nolani Neve Gooden Savitasi. V. Ethan Hui Dang. <laughs> Jalen Caden Gray. Janelle David. Kavon Gibson. <laughs> Javier De La Cruz the second. Ayana Marie Henderson. El Josue Del Rio. Amarius Xavier Henderson. Spencer Edwards. Kush Juneja. Naomi Reina Encarnacion Men. Chris Janaja. Megan Kalika Ebrero. Matthias Fesahatian. Ibrahim <laughs> Elmi. Joel Hernandez. Matthew Erickson. Fidel Hurtado Turvar. Cohen M. Galindo. Hugo Corre Honey. El Senor Luis Fuentes. 
Ruby Marisol Henriquez Pocasangre. Michaela Nicole Leah Ganey. Adil Rashid Hussein. Rayanne Lanissa Gilbert. Faduma M. Isaac. La Senorita Paola Guzman. Hayden Dean Knittel. Rika Gomez. Ekal Leon. Tushar Gottman. Daniela Yurko. Elias Jacori Harrell. Natasha Ann Koshelnik. Jalil Ramel Hendricks. Oksana Koshelnik. Yakub Mustafa Haji. Liana Kuzmich. Samir Gurgis Halak. Jorge Nava Landeros. Kathy Wong. Olivia Lashan. Amy Hirano. Roseanne Lockbodge. Larissa Arishan Jackson. <laughs> Aditi Mangla. Axel Darren Jones. Carmen Martinez. Arleth Jimenez. Gabriela Politsich. El Senor Brandon Ramirez Juarez. Mujda Najmi. El Senor Jonathan Juarez. Dachin Menke. Carly Jo Kratzer. Leslie Abigail Molina. Lohit Kumaran. Lucy Nguyen. Junior, Julian Luton. Nancy No. Angelo Linares. Davion Nguyen. Tyler Mason Lovingson. Alan Nguyen. Eric Isiak Lopez. Dylan Nguyen. Arturo Lasoya III. Vu Huang Nguyen. Henry Lamb. Philip Nguyen. Tree Lee. Lana Pham. Tiffany Lynn. Lakshmi Orsorio. Abigail Elats. Gabrielle Prepotente. Senorita Janelle Lopez. Ethan Pauly. Leanne Luong. Augustine Ivan Pernet. Ellie Louise Linford. Kayla Plasic. Julie Mooney. 
Ann Pius. Saran Mahari. Daniel Perez. Martineau. Arthur Martineau, Jr. Kyle Troy Rasmussen. Robert Brayton Magno. Jaden Rossetti. The Asher Mintz. The Asher Mintz. Sophia Irene Ruth Raymond. Jonathan Fiedros Maza. Annabelle Lee Rorex. Kevin Marquis Montanes. Natalie Ruby Ramirez. Walid Isa Osman. Tyson Rodriguez. Suheeb Mukhtar Mohammed. Jay Griffith Rudisil. Asusena Maldonado. Kevin Schwartz. Richard Medina Torres. Angel Salazar Vesquez. Ronel, Ronaldo Maeda Barrera. Anastasia Kayave Gatola Santiago. Tashawn Jermaine McFall Brown. Ronald Tarona. Valeria Makita. Kaylee Trong. Adna Ishmael Mohammed. Corey Lamar Spivey Jr. Isaac Manning. Damon Weaver. Edna Faisal Mohammed Deary. Bethany Grace Maxwell. Suzette Martinez. Jade Ware. Daphne Fan Wynn. Mejia Gilliam. Ilasane Muimui. Eric, Eric Villagomez Avila. Christy Wynn. Sophie Gabrielle Torrey. Matthew Moreno. El Vergara. David Nguyen. Dominic Truchel. Andy Nguyen. The Justin Vallejo. The Brittany Tran. Brianna Lynn Whitaker. The Marilyn Nguyen. Yancy Vargas Martinez. Senorita Jocelyn Paez Garita. Marquise Johnson. Lita Tran. Benjamin Gage Walter. Nancy Tran. Anita Romanova Vasilchuk. Johnny Tan Win. Olesia Yershova. Claire Catherine Namakula. 
Sofia Yermakova. Zen Nam. Zaya Vovin. Michelle Wynn. Abdiasis Abdigani Ugas. Amal Asma. Shukeb Warsami. Maoa Paolo. Ulysses Soto Garcia. Paola Perdomo. Henry Sunness. The Jesse Pimpkin. Julia Silchuk. Petra Roata. Jayla Santos. Francisco Javier Rizendis. Lydia Staley. Anel Daniel Rojas Lopez. Nina Stokes. Nancy Kathleen Rudolph. Peyton Danae Smith. V. Ariana Rourke. Zion Smith Vega. Zaret Rodriguez. Gabriel Alexander Thomas. Yaritza Rodriguez. Taj Thomas. The Mikey Reeves. Keanu Pryor. Fargo Razai Dashti. The Benjamin Vuk. Mohammed Pedram Shahi. Tresner Warren. Sudais Sahad. Chris Gavino Vaifao. El Senor Christopher Sagostume Barrera. Lane Swenson. Kevin Sorn. Zechariah Smith. Hache Rene Sanchez. Juan Pablo Panique Marina Sanchez. El Señor Mario Sosa Blanco. Natalie. Natalie Gabriela Santos. Isabella Ta. Isabella Ta. Uh, Ana Ubieta Martinez. Ana Ubieta Martinez. Lina Zahid. Lina Zahid. I would like to welcome back to the stage Ann Mall and Keegan. Seniors, please stand. Now is the time for the turning of the tassel. This represents our transition from students at Lindbergh High School to graduates of Lindbergh High School. Yeah. 
Members of the class of 2023, please turn your tassel from the right side to the left side. Red gowns. All right, seniors, your, your LHS staff are forming the tunnel that you will have recessional out of. Please be seated. Red gowns to the front, please. As we prepare for recessional, one more time for the class of 2023. 